Do you call yourself a Dragerman? Absolutely, Dragerman for sure, through and through. My name is Ron Boutet, and uh, I've been involved with Drager Equipment and Mine Rescue uh, for three generations. We've had my father, as well as myself and my son. Uh, I was raised in, in a mining town. Uh, that's all I've known all my life is mining. 1956 was the first time I got a job. So what year was it that you came here to this mine? Do you remember? Oh, I do. You retired I'm here in 93. Then. I guess I was here about five years. And I've been here, it's going to be five years that I've been here now. And I'm thinking this will be my final resting ground. <laughs> <laughs> Good place to leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First of all, it started out with my father, uh, who uh, obviously is my mentor. It was just like a, a real family thing. Everybody really enjoyed one another's company. As a kid growing up, I watched that and I said, you know what? Someday I want to be a Dragerman. Well, my, my son, uh, I never told him to join Mine Rescue because I figured it's something that you have to want to do yourself. As long as he doesn't go looking for trouble, he'll be all right. Going forward, I ended up uh, eventually getting on at the mines and uh, I got into Mine Rescue. I remember him wearing his red jacket. I must have been five years old and I still remember that bright red Mine Rescue jacket. The big logo on it. <laughs> asked him, you know, Aaron, you should get involved in mine rescue. It's, it's really a great thing. And, uh, I, you know, I, I kind of said, well, you know, your grandfather was in it and uh, I'm in it and uh, it'd be really cool if you got in it too. I've seen my father and my grandfather and uh, their pictures on the wall when I was a kid and everything, their competition pictures, the trophies. Uh, that's what first kind of got me interested. But it's not until I really got underground that I said, you know what, this is something I got to try out. And once I started to do it, I said, you know what, this is really enjoyable. It's, a, it's an adrenaline rush. There's something to learn there. Um, I, I, I just really enjoy it. It's, it's, uh, I find it fun, actually. I remember my dad training. And, and as far as uh, the actual uh, competitions itself, I was pretty young at the time. So I don't really remember so much of, of all of the competitions. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what drove him into Mine Rescue, but uh, uh, he's, like, he's always been a caring, compassionate man. I've never heard my grandpa raise his voice. There was an incident one time was uh, we were sinking a shaft and they hired a student. And the student, uh, his first day at work, they brought him to the bottom of the shaft. And when they were down there, the, the brow of the, one of the stations broke off and fell in the shaft and killed him. I'd seen Dragerman before, and it always uh, intrigued me to give it a try if I had a chance. So I went and gave my name, and that was all history after that. Uh, well, my dad uh, had lots of stories to tell. Uh, one that I still remember uh, was uh, back where, uh, you know, I'm thinking it was five or six gentlemen. They had blasted this chute, and uh, I guess it was uh, before a long weekend and uh, they wanted to get home early and they decided that they were going to go back in before their time and uh, what happened is uh, there was six fatalities and uh, he was involved in that where he had to uh, go in and get these guys out. When I was in mine rescue I'd often think about that scenario and uh, how that played out and uh, I'm sure anybody that's involved as a Dragerman or whatnot when they go into any type of emergency I'm sure there's all kinds of emotions that run wildly through your head. But in my grandpa's time, it wasn't unusual for people to get killed underground. Now, it's, it still happens, but it's not on the uh, frequency that it used to be, not at all. They were all young people up there, nobody knew what they were doing. So uh, it was a lot of people getting hurt. <laughs> in my grandpa's time, I don't know if they built people tougher, because he talks about people who've been killed underground there, and it just it doesn't seem to bother him as much because it was so almost, well, I shouldn't say normal, but it, it happened more commonly. So it just seems to be like that's the way it was in his time. When you're young, you don't even think about it. You said, that's the way it is, you know? Most of the time, the outcome is pretty good, but there's not always. Close calls? Lots of close calls. Yeah. Frightening close calls? Or? Oh, yes. But now it's, now it's quite safe compared to what it was. 
The safety's come a long ways compared to the way it used to be when I first started. I'm sure it came a long ways before my dad started. And my dad started out, he used the Draeger 174. Oh, it was, uh, yeah, you felt pretty comfortable when you had it. You knew you could depend on it. You felt safe. And we thought it was a pretty good machine, so we call ourselves Draegerman. Safety now is number one. The driving force of companies now is safety. If it hadn't have been for the unions, we wouldn't have what we have today. At least you can go to work and you know you're not going to get killed, you know? Probably one of the main primary reasons why I got involved in mine rescue was the fact that it's helping people and mainly people that you know. A lot of people that you know. And as a Draeger man, they count on people like us. All the Draeger men, uh, we, we, there's a camaraderie there. Everybody, everybody. Uh, first of all, we have all a common common link. We uh, we all want to help people. You're in this trouble together, and you just pull through as a team. So everybody's kind of working together with one another, and we like to do a lot of kidding around, a little bit of joking. And my dad is uh, the talker of the family. He's got a great sense of humor. I mean. I, I enjoy all, of the, every day I spend with him, I enjoy it. He's, we're always laughing and having a great time. And Yeah, we, we, we're like a, a kind of a tight-knit group of people. It's something that me and my father and my grandfather have in common, so we're always talking about uh, difference in equipment and difference in training. And uh, the guys that I train with, they're all great guys. And yeah, we, uh, we definitely have a bond over that, yeah. You know, I'm very proud of the fact that uh, we've had three generations involved. And uh, I, I've got pictures of the three of us uh, together uh, at the mine rescue station. I, I hold that dearly. I never really thought of it so much as a dynasty. Um, I guess it could be. <laughs>